Yo, welcome back everybody to the React Native course. It's been a while. Uh, and today we're gonna be talking about how to set up a splash screen for our app. Now, this is what our splash screen is gonna look like right here on the right side. Um, this is what I've made is a simple Shiba Inu uh, picture that I got off of, uh, I think, uh, Bixby or Pixar or something like that. But we credited the actual author of it. And, um, and well, let me just show you guys what it's gonna look like. So I'm going to reopen the app. And you can see that we've replaced the uh, logo image to this little Shiba Inu with that, uh, with an, any anime list and the uh, logo. So if I click on it, you'll see that it really quickly, you see the loading screen and then it goes into the app. Um, I've tried to slow it down, but it just doesn't slow down. Um, but there's another example right there and the app loads. So let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty, so I found a way to actually make it stand still. This is what it's gonna look like right here. Um, the first thing we need to do is we need to install the actual dependency called React Native Splash Screen. And the way to do that is by a simple command called npmi react dash native dash splash dash screen dash dash save. And then once you've done that, after that, what we're gonna do is we're going to have to uh, initialize the thing because for some reason my react dash native link doesn't work and it's better to also figure out how do we actually uh, link dependencies if we, if we don't have the ability to do it. Alrighty, so I've also opened up the documentation right here. It's just easier to actually be able to copy the code and I can and I can show you guys exactly what to copy from and put into our app. Um, so the link to this is in the description down below. And the first thing we need to do is we need to open up our settings.gradle file. So I'm doing command P or control P for Windows. And I'm going to search up settings.gradle. And inside of here, we're going to go ahead and put this little snippet of code at the very bottom right above the if statement and save that bad boy like so. And then after that, we need to open up our build Gradle, and it should be the build Gradle for our app, not just a regular one. So once you open that up, then we need to search up implementation, so our dependencies, and inside of there, we need to add an implementation. And we need to implement our React Native splash screen like so. So after that, we're actually gonna skip this part. We don't actually need to do it. Um, this is a little bit outdated version of the actual uh, method. And in the current version, you don't actually need to do this step. So after that, we're gonna scroll a little bit lower and then we're gonna go to Android. So in the Android, they're telling us to open up our main activity and to update it. So I'm gonna open up my main activity. And at the very top, I'm gonna go ahead and just import this first uh, import right here since our React Native, our React Native splash screen version is greater than 0.3.1. Uh, we're going to go and just import it and put it right up there. Get rid of this comment like so. And then in our on create, I'm just going to go ahead and copy the splash screen dot show and just paste it right above there. Let's get rid of that and save it. Perfect. So the next thing we need to do is we need to create an XML file, which is basically, um, you can think of an XML file as, if you ever worked with Figma, an outline of how the app is going to look like, so we can use an XML file to actually um, create certain screens and to show what they're gonna look like. And that's a really uh, powerful thing about Android is that you can actually control that ability through Android Studio. Um, however, through VS Code, you don't really have that ability. Um, but what we're gonna be doing is inside of our res right here, we're gonna create a new folder called layout. If you don't already have it, I already have it made right here. Go ahead and create it. And instead of that, we're gonna create a new file called launch underscore screen dot XML. And inside of there, we're gonna go ahead and paste this little snippet of code, which basically is all it's gonna do is, is gonna take our um, splash screen and then it's gonna extend, uh, it's gonna extend the actual image by the entirety of the screen's width and the entirety of the screen's height. So for example, um, let me show you what our splash screen looks like. So basically it would take this image and then expand it, expand it to the entire device. So it fills up the entire screen. So after that, what we're actually gonna be doing is we need to take this image and then we're gonna plop it right into our drawable folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag it and paste it right into there. And I'm gonna go ahead and actually change the name too because new project is not a good name for this. Let's call it um, splash screen.png. And then we're gonna open up our launch screen.xml file. 
And if you scroll a little bit to the right in the image view tag, you're going to see this little source is equal to. This is basically like if you think about it like an import for an image, you're basically importing it into this tag. And we're going to change the name from launch screen to be splash underscore screen, like so. Perfect. So the steps after this um, are optional. Um, basically, they allow you to be able to change the color of the actual status bar of the app and um, allow you to define all that cool stuff like that. So since our um, actual splash screen's background is blue, it would make the actual status bar blue. Um, however, we're not going to worry about that since it is, uh, it's not really required since it's just a basic beginner app. So after this, we're actually going to go ahead and open up our app.js file and we're going to import something called splash screen. So import splash screen from React Native splash screen. And then all we need to do is we're going to create a use effect and it looks like it imported from the wrong thing so I'm just going to delete this part and paste it right here and then all we have to do is we have to give it splash screen dot hide so basically whenever the app is ready um, to be displayed it will then go ahead and hide the splash screen to actually display the app so let me just make it a little prettier. There we go. All right, so now if we test out our app, it should hopefully maybe work. So I'm gonna just re reload the app and then we should see eventually it reopens, shows a splash screen, perfect. All right, so the next thing we need to talk about is how do we actually replace this uh, app icon to look a little bit better. So this is the app icon that, we've, that I built. Um, it's just the Shiba, you know, the name of the app and the credit of the actual pic uh, for the Shiba. And the way that we're going to create this is go right back into here. We're going to uh, go to a website called, um, I think, icon, appicon.co. Yep. And then all you have to do is you have to just give it the image. So make sure that the image is actually uh, 1024 by 1024 or else it doesn't look the best. Um, and then go ahead and uncheck all of these values and then just keep this one checked and then call uh, the file name whatever you want um, I'm just gonna call it app um, app logo go ahead and generate that bad boy and then uh, let me just minimize this stuff once you have generated it it should create this uh, zip file go ahead and open it up and then I'm gonna delete the previous one and then once you've opened the folder up, then you'll see a bunch of different folders inside of here. Go ahead and open up this Android folder, and we're just going to take all of these, and we're going to replace whatever this uh, MIP map um, folders are inside of the res folder. So drag it and paste it into the res folder. It'll ask you, do you want to replace it? Um, it's irreplaceable. Go ahead and replace every single one of them. And this won't work right now because it still needs to actually get targeted uh, towards the actual images. Whoops, I don't know why I opened up every single image, but, uh, sorry, every single folder. So inside of the Android manifest.xml file, uh, you're gonna wanna change these two names to be um, the actual name of the image right here. So since we don't have a rounded image, I'm just gonna give it that one right there. And now if I were to reload everything and let me go ahead and open up my emulator. My emulator just disappeared. Oh, there we go, okay. So if I were to back out, go up, we see that our actual app image logo has changed and we have our splash screen. So let's see that in full action. So we have our app logo image and splash screen right there. App loads, fine, beautiful. Cool, so that was pretty simple. We learned how to change our app image and our app splash screen. And uh, in the next video, we'll be learning how to do that for Apple as well. So stay tuned for that one, and I'll see you all in the next one. If you like this, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.